Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I don't typically try to post too much couponing stuff, but if you are new, um, I, I post a lot of other things. So um, it's not just couponing, but for those of you that come here for the couponing, um, I have a little information. I tried to tape, you know, use my camera in store, but he was so close. Uh, you know and your phone like dings when you're gonna be recording so um, I'm just gonna repeat because it, it's very simple what he said so I had sent my friend in because she, she was going in anyway to retrieve my order gave her my phone I did not I pulled in the parking lot I didn't say I'm here I didn't click the email saying I'm here by the way Walgreens I don't even think I told you I didn't check in or anything like that because I had heard somebody's video maybe running kimono or something like that um, to go into the store go to the photo counter then retrieve your order so that's what she did um, she coupons with me so she knows like you know this is what you do um, I needed the uh, I needed the receipt because the Asper cream was one of the five or six items that I bought and I bought two of them for the Ibotta rebate. I wasn't even going to pick the order up because all of a sudden the Ibotta disappeared. Then it reappeared and instead of a limited two, it has a limited one. So I did uh, have two which was odd because when I look on my email receipt, it says that I ordered two Rimmel bronzers, unfortunately insufficient stock, they only packed one. I ordered a Rimmel mascara, that went through. So the bronzer, the mascara, the CeraVe uh, bumpy solidic soap bar, uh, that was through. Two Asper creams, now what happened it looked like was there was an Asper cream and it says order two insufficient stock packed one and it said eleven dollars and ninety eight cents FSA you know it's the like if you have that card to pay for your over-the-counter stuff um, and then came the CeraVe and then came another Asper cream order two insufficient stock packed one so in total they packed two but something's not right because my return I had to return everything I, I could get a paper receipt is, is the bottom line here and I don't think this hack that we're trying of going and getting it in store without alerting them first is gonna help because it's all through the scanner he said it's eliminating us having to find a register we don't want to have to use a register at all so basically even if you go in there what they do is they scan the QR code or you give them your phone number and right away that scanner in their hand checks it right out send you an email receipt straight away there is no nothing to do with the register at all because I they don't want us they wanted to make it easier for us so we don't even have to touch the register hold up any lines just make it quick give me your phone number or give me the QR code if I can scan it or most people just say I'm here and boom once it hits that scanner that's it it's going to go right to your email there's nothing they can do to even get in there to get you a printed receipt it's simply email done bottom line so then I wondered what the heck went, you know went down because I said well I'm gonna return I, I have to have a printed receipt in order to do rebates I do rebates and on these rebate apps you have to have a physical receipt so I said to him I wanted to return my items and just be done I wasn't gonna like see maybe keep this keep that let me just return it all I really don't need any more makeup. I would have liked the CeraVe, but I'm, I don't know about the coupons and whatever else. It just wasn't worth it. So my um, 
order had allowed me to pay $10 in Walgreens cash and $2 in and one cent in, uh, you know, I used my card. So my order came to $12 and one cent. $10 I was allowed to redeem, $2 and one cent was to go on my card. And I guess then the bag fee gets added once you pick up, they see how many bags, you know, which I don't know how they factor that in. I guess it's all done through the scanner. So uh, I have the return, he had to, like the return receipt printed and he had to like cut a piece of it off to give me a copy. I guess it didn't perforate or whatever. And so I have a return here that says the Asper Cream 599, the Rimmel Bronzer 70 cents, the Rimmel Mascara uh, Scandal Eyes Mascara was two dollars, another Asper Cream for 5.99, and the Cerave for 6.9 6.49, and the Walgreens shopping bag fee five cents. So that was a subtotal of return in twenty one dollars and twenty two cents. The tax of that was 79 cents. So my total return was $22 and a penny. Walgreens cash redeemed was $10 and cash $12 and one cent. But my card and my receipt and my order on my, all my emails show, and when I checked out that I paid $2 and one penny. I'm not complaining. I'm just confused where that $10 is coming from uh, because he says the $10 in Walgreens cash will show up just give it some time like I, I don't know he said maybe 24 hours or something I don't know so if you could see there you know it just lists your items and um, I'm not really sure but you see in the black print there that the $10 is going to go back on the on the card and that twelve dollars and one cents was given back to me in cash because I, I did use a debit card uh, if I have time I'm going to check my purchases and see what they charged on my debit card but I I'm using the phone that I could probably pull it up on this phone um, the email that shows you my entire order and exactly I almost thought to myself was I charged twice for the Asper cream but then if I was charged twice I would have had four boxes so I gotta be honest I'm, I'm very confused if you can comment below have you had any experience with this new policy that they're not going to be printing any physical receipts it's strictly once your phone number either hits that keypad or you tell him and they enter it or her or they scan your QR code from your phone or they you give them the order number they're doing it all from that scanner that's on their body once that information's in that scanner that's where it stays and that scanner does all the work it locates your order it checks out your order and it emails you a receipt so just beware of that if you have any Ibotta checkout 51 shop kicks all this stuff that we might need fetch rewards all these things that you need to have a physical receipt for you're not gonna probably be able to do it on an online order anymore um, because they're just not given the receipts so it may take a little while to trickle I'm in New York maybe your state is different but uh, you know the system is the system and that scanner you know I think is across the board so comment below and let me know if you're having the same situation go on um, I'm also going to show you what I mean by what I actually paid uh, when I checked out online. Um, I, I paid two dollars and one cents. I'm not sure where the other ten dollars is coming for coming from. Matter of fact, it said my order total was a dollar thirty one, and I think that had something to do with the bronzer because it's saying the bronzer was a return value of seventy cents. 
So I'm kind of confused there. You order de details. Um, so, you know, you're not going to be able to see the best, but I'm going to enlarge it for you. <clears throat> Know there's a little bit of a glare there's the rimmel bronzer and if you could see that i did order two they had insufficient stock only gave me one that was a dollar 39 the rimmel scandal eyes retro glam was uh two bucks they had that here's the aspa cream i ordered two insufficient stock they packed one Two of them is $11.98, so return value is $5.99 each. Um, and there were coupons for all of these things. There's the CeraVe at $6.49. That was no problem. And then again comes the Aspa Cream. I feel like I ordered the same exact ones. Maybe I ordered one patch. and one, I doubt it. I know I ordered the cheapest ones, so I'm not really sure. Now it says order two, insufficient, packed one. But also showing that the price is of two. So I do the math quick in my head saying, okay, two of them is 12 bucks. And then the CeraVe is 650, so that's 1850. Then we have the $2 mascara, 2050. The one bronzer, for a dollar forty, so we're at um, twenty fifty, twenty ninety, twenty one ninety. So that's without tax. And then when I look down, my purchase summary uh, is twenty six dollars and you can see that and eighty four cents. So, I don't really know what that's about. Um, and then you see here that $15.68 applied. My Rimmel Cosmetics, my CeraVe, my Icy Otter Aspa Cream, my Rimmel Eye, and a dollar for Rimmel. Um, the Rimmel Cosmetics, I got a bronzer and an eye and... Four, five, six, seven dollars and sixty-eight cents worth of Rimmel coupons came off. So I don't know how they adjusted that because I only got a two-dollar mascara and it only ended up with one bronzer at a dollar thirty-nine. So how they ended up with seven dollars, almost eight dollars in savings, I don't know. And you can clearly see that I redeemed ten dollars. So hard to show you. Um, you see it here. I such a glare. I redeemed ten dollars, and right here the total was. Two dollars and one cents. However, you could see it. I'm trying to put it right in the camera's face. So I don't know. I'm gonna keep a watch on my Walgreens cash. Make sure that the ten dollars goes back. He said it would. I have this receipt saying that there's a negative ten dollars of Walgreens cash that's to be returned so I will absolutely come back and tell them I want my ten dollars in Walgreens cash back and uh, you know for all the inconvenience I'm not going to really make a big stink I mean it's their problem you know so comment below if any of this has happened to you if you had any problems um, hopefully this was helpful and just be careful if you're doing rebates it's probably just best to go in the store and, and buy the product in the store I know sometimes it's cheaper online sometimes you might have a 10% coupon you could use or whatnot but I, I don't know that it's worth it so uh, I would really double check all of that stuff so that's my little Walgreens info slash rant uh, leave a like 
and um, check Ronnie Kimono her Instagram she said to look out for a $10 Walgreens cash when you spend $10 so see if you have that on your account and I will see you guys in the next video my coupon preview is up take a look at that and I'll see you guys soon have a good day bye